season is a joyful time for many families. It can also be stressful. In some cases, frustration is taken out on children. Local pediatricians, they say they've seen a high number of shaken baby syndrome cases. That's why they're reminding parents to be careful handling kids. WSLS 10's Bree Jackson is live in Roanoke. And Bree, what are they saying the number one factor is? What's the reason that this is happening? Well, Don, they're telling me that parents frustrated by crying children is the biggest factor that's contributing to this. In fact, doctors here at Carillion Hospital say that they've seen hundreds of cases of shaken baby syndrome, and now pediatrics are speaking out. Shaken baby syndrome, as many people know, is also known as abusive head trauma. It involves violently shaking a child for as little as five seconds. Now, this is a preventable problem, and pediatricians at Carillion Clinic Children's Hospital are seeing this happen. Dr. Donald Keyes says that they have seen various incidents right here in our area, and he says that the violent shaking can in some cases lead to death. In fact, he says it's happening in about 25% of the cases. Now, for those that do survive, shaken baby syndrome can also lead to learning disabilities and long-term health problems. Ranging from a child who's severely, severely affected who will never uh, live to walk and talk like a normal child. They may require full care like an infant all their life with someone feeding them, diapering them, caring for them. Now, hospitals in our area are required by law to report any type of child abuse or neglect to Child Protective Services. That includes cases such as shaken baby syndrome. Now, coming up tonight at 11, we'll talk with local doctors about ways people can prevent head trauma for their children and also soothe those crying babies. In Roanoke, Bree Jackson, WSLS 10.